Hey everyone, welcome back to NS2HD if you're joining us there and welcome back to Twitch. Uh, to everyone watching on the Twitch, this is live. We are here with All In vs Darkseid for game number four and I am joined by Leto. Good afternoon. That last game, that was... Whoa. Yeah, I know, man. Phew, that was intense. Ooh. I don't know if my voice is going to survive that kind of game. I, you know, after watching the last couple of weeks, I was really hoping for one of those 20, 25 minute long matches and a couple of those. I've gotten all short matches yeah, so far. Yeah, they have all been short <laughs> matches so far. And and coming up next, who have I got coming up next? I have uh, Arkea versus All In. So we're actually going to be able to see Ar All In play more after this. Uh, so we might get some longer matches with Arkea, but Darkseid far out. I mean, I'm starting to see uh, Zico from Arkea reckons that Darkseid is the best team in Natural Section 2 at the moment. I, after watching them play like this, I'm inclined to agree. And I wish we got to see them going up against Akia, Akia or Exodus today, but we won't get to see that. We've got 420 coming up later as well in two hours. So, uh, sorry, actually, no, in an hour after, after Akia versus All In. So definitely the matchup I want to see right now is Exodus versus Darkseid and uh, Akia versus Darkseid. I, I'm still trying to learn team names. I've seen so many good players in the last couple weeks. It's been an absolute blur. Yeah, there are a lot it's of teams amazing. out there. I mean, if I had to list them out, far out, Keyed by 3 Ad, 420, Darkseid, Exodus, Mister, Team 156, uh, Akia, did I say Keyed by... Bird, Zegan. I know there's a whole bunch of new teams coming as well. And these teams, you have to remember, I mean, they could be eight players. I know Team 156 is about 12 players. So it's great to see so many teams when you need so many players for a team. It's not like with StarCraft where you have one player and then you've got a match. <laughs> it's, it's, it's really strange at times because normally, like you said, with StarCraft 2, it's 1v1. Mm -hmm. Whereas this, we're seeing six players on six players. There are so many different things you can do with six different brains working at the same time. Yeah. Like we just saw in the last match. One minute long, an entire Marine rush, focused effort, Mar aliens were dead done one minute absolutely that was um, it was really really cool to watch i'm glad i saw it <laughs> joe and dr fino going at it parasite versus crouch marine switch axe this is a this is a classic matchup yeah, that switch axe <laughs> I, I you know it, it's 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 humorous to talk about but that switch axe can be deadly absolutely live on restart 50 se 15 seconds and you know you see these competitive players have a skulk leap at them and they switch act this the thing in the face and you just think how did you do that i wish i could do that i certainly can't oh good positions go. data core versus flight control again marines aren't going to enjoy flight control and uh aliens are definitely going to love data core i think although there are no vents leading in there and aliens love having vents in their hive and it looks like an even split this is this this could be one of our, the long match that I'm hoping for. It could I'm be. hoping for. <laughs> and we're in no rush because All In is the next scheduled de uh, scheduled team, and they're in front of us right now. So we definitely can't miss the next matches by he being here watching All In. Good exploration so far by Darkseid. I'm liking their spread and coverage. They know what's going on and where the the Marines are. That's good on their part for working together. Absolutely. Although it looks like the Marines are going to win. No, sorry. Okay. So the uh, the aliens won initial contact in both places, which is fantastic for uh, Darkseid. Crevice is having its. They they originally tried to throw a an harvester down in Crevice. The Marines are going to lose that unless something happens. Oh no, looks like Gorgeous is going to back off. What a play by Gorgeous. What a play. Oh, outstanding. I love it. I love it. That he I mean he waited, he waited, he leapt up onto the roof, came down behind the Marine, and then smacked him. It was absolutely outstanding. It's those kind of little plays that can make a huge difference to the overall strategy of the match. And look, the extractor goes down just thanks to that one exceptional piece of play by Gorgeous. I hear you. Unfortunately, my natural selection, too, has stopped responding. That's all right. I will uh, keep it going until you can rejoin us, uh, Leto. One looks... of the glories of, of working off two computers. One crashes, the other is fine. Ah, there you go. And, um, Thank goodness. Absolutely. That's, I mean, in the beta, sometimes we do have that happening. That's the great thing about being in the natural section, too, but you get to see a game growing from the inside. And one of the things you see occasionally is a crash. Luckily, not as often as it used to be, and it is getting better and better every day. Now, the aliens are taking Computer Lab, although a Nano Shield has extended its life. If that goes down, it's going to put the Marines back to a single extractor. Joe, fantastic. I have to examine this play as well. Joe is baiting the Marines here. 
allowing uh, air to kill the extractor. And these marines, they know they could run past and then get killed from behind. So great, great teamwork from these two. And look at that. The extractor's going to go down. Dark side just unstoppable in this match. They are doing so well. I am I'm in awe of Dark Side at the moment. All in, though, it must be said, are playing extremely well as well. So it's definitely, it, it shows you how good Dark Side is that they could be exerting this kind of map control on an experienced team like All In. The score is two to one in favor of All In One, correct? It's uh, it's actually three love to to Dark Side at the moment. Dark Side oh. has taken every single match, uh, and now All In is playing for honor to get a to get one victory in here. Sad Clown says in the stream, I want Unknown Worlds to head to Canada for some promoting. Sad Clown, <laughs> you send me an email telling me what the biggest gaming convention is in Canada, and I will do my best to bring Unknown Worlds to Canada. We are definitely looking for conventions to go to at the moment to bring Natural Section 2 to the world. Uh, we're currently looking at PAX Prime in Seattle and Gamescom in Germany. So those are the two on the list at the moment. Because we're such a tiny little company, these events are massive for us, so we can't go to them all, that's for sure. We can't do like a Crytek or a Valve and just go to every single one. But we are trying to go to more, so let us know where the biggest conventions are in your country, and we will try to come to a, to one of them. Oh, thank goodness I'm back in. Sweet. Things are working. I, I've duct taped my laptop back together. Nice. And we've got th uh, two skulks, one lurk coming into Marine Base right now to exert some pressure. That's some smoke all throughout the Marine Base. That's going to cloud some vision. That's going to do a little bit of damage. Yep. Spore dropping like that is fantastic. The idea is as a, as a lurk is you fly in fly around and fly back out, dropping spores on the widest area possible. So that pressure has been stopped, but uh, nicely the, uh, nice to see Darkseid in there doing it. Look at that, around the command station, getting the gas on the widest area possible. As another note, the aliens just finished Carapace evolution. I'm going to not say research, we're going to say evolution. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, you're doing better than me. I always mess up and say research, and that's just not I Normally I do as well. I, I'm going to, I'm working hard not to. And look at this, at the top of the screen, you can see we have mines. And honestly, I mean, 156 was doing this in the last match against Exodus. Mines against an aggressive team like Darkseid or Exodus are not going to win you the game. Honestly, that is, that's my belief as a caster. I mean, I'm only a caster, and I'm sure many competitive players would argue this with me. But just from what I've seen today, I feel like an early mine research is not going to get you anywhere, and you're better off with early shotguns with early weapons one. Shotguns would do a world of good right now. Unfortunately, the Marines having to recall every single one just trying to defend their base yeah that that lurk is just <laughs> he's making life hell shiv is doing so well it's just outstanding now they have managed to hold crevice for a while but it is now going to go down the marines are trying to run and save it they're reacting well as a team oh oh the aliens know they're coming great scouting this is going to be interesting combat another drop by gorgeous but i don't think it's going to work this time uh is it Oh, is he going to get someone? Great yes, he drop does. by Gorgeous again. <laughs> That's Impressive great. work. He is really good at using those large cliffs to his advantage. Now we have a fade on the field. Zorex is up. Uh, and we also have Joe evolving. He may be going fade as well, I believe he is. We have Gorgeous evolving. I think we're going to have three fades on the field very soon. No shotguns, no armor upgrades, no weapon upgrades. All in is in trouble. They have 39 team res. I'm not sure what they're doing with the team res. They may be waiting to drop the arms lab and then get... Uh, no, and in fact, I've just got no idea what they're doing with all that team res. 41 team res. I have res. no idea. Can't... Shotguns should be your top priority right now. Shotguns or a weapon upgrade. Absolutely. To try and deal with these fades, you're going to need those shotties. Although, I mean, they're low on... They're not low on P res. What am I talking about? They've all got 43 except Juicy. He's the commander. So, mm. really, 45 team res. I don't think there's an excuse for a competitive team to ever have that much resources considering how low on tech they are right now. Perhaps someone in the stream can let me know of a possible strategy they could be going for with saving up all these resources, but I can't think of one and Darkseid is starting to execute with these fades. That crevice harvester is going down. It's, this isn't looking good. So they've just spent 15 or, 30 or 20 res on something. I can't see what it was. I'm not seeing any research. Yeah, I don't know what it was. I'm not seeing any research. I can't see an arms lab. So I have no No idea. secret command center either. Yeah. So I, I just don't know what they're up to. It's unfortunate because we, we as casters, we as commentators, 
we need to be able to understand what's going on. And in this situation, we just can't process the strategy that All In is, is trying to execute. Absolutely. Now the bar bombs have started to land on the base. And I should make a note here. Someone in the stream said, oh, you guys are going to Gamescom. That's awesome. No, we're trying to go to Gamescom. I'm not making any promises. I'm just saying we're trying to go. It's a huge effort for us to do that in Germany. It was hard enough for us to do it in the United States. So doing it in Germany would be massive. But we are trying. And look at this, aliens all through this base. Oh, Persian this getting caught bad. in the vent. Oh dear, under the grate there. <laughs> and yeah, Marines are just DG. falling left and right. Four dead on the team right now. And look at that map control exerted. I mean, the aliens own everything. The Marines are just stuck in to their tiny little base here. And absolute map control combined with great life form use. And I don't know what the, the all-in tech was. Oh, they were going advanced armory and grenade launchers. Oh. Okay, they were going to try and go for a grenade launcher rush, it looks like. And uh, it, they grenade launchers are up, but they're not going to get a chance to use them. So what they would have yep. probably tried to do is just rush the hive with the grenade launchers, surprising the aliens. So now we know that what all-in was trying to do, they just didn't manage to hold on for long enough there to actually execute that plan. I have to ask myself, would that have even worked? had they gotten them in the first place. Exactly. They had so much going against right, guys, them. It's a long way to have to run. Oh yeah. Oh, that's that. Well, that is the end of game four. No. He's getting instructions from the, uh, the in-game chat folks. Sorry guys, that was very rude of me, but that is the end of game four and we will be moving to all in versus Arkea now and uh, they're going to tell me what the password is so we're going to go to a very quick break now but we hope you've enjoyed this it's been an absolute pleasure having Lido here B Lito can you carry on to cast all in versus Arkea in, as well I would do I would love nothing to do that that would that would be amazing okay I didn't we say that right on. at all yeah well <laughs> yes, uh, so let's do it let's do it okay so we're going to go to a quick break guys